understand there are a few teams that you were seriously considering there, uh, you know, in this situation. Why did you end up uh, choosing the Stars? Well, I just thought it was the right fit. Um, I had a really good conversation with Jim and, uh, you know, he he's had some some success in his career over his career. And um, he's a, he's a straight shooter. And I, I love that about him. And, uh, you know, looking at the roster, I just thought this would be a, a perfect fit for us. Next, we'll go to Brian Ray. Brian. Ryan, you mentioned the conversation with Jim Nill. Can you walk us through the recruitment process a little bit? Did you chat with any players or was it just a conversation with uh, your agent and Jim and the decision was made? Uh, I talked to a couple of guys. Um, I've talked to players that have been there um, and, and played in the organization and uh, they had nothing but great things to say about the organization. Uh, I talked with Jim. Um, I was on the call with uh, Neil and myself and and Jim, and he kind of walked us through the whole situation and, uh, you know, what we could expect and the players on the team. And I mean, I was very familiar with the Dallas Stars. I played against them for a long time and, uh, you know, always thought Dallas was, would be a, a fun place to live. And, um, you know, things just, just worked out, worked out perfect for us. Next, we'll go to Mike Heike. Mike? Hey, Ryan, uh, how do you see the group of defensemen and, and how do you see yourself fitting in with them? Well, I think they got a good group already. Um, obviously, uh, Klingberg, Heisken, and those guys are, uh, are solid players. And um, I'm just excited to be a, a part of that. Um, and looking forward to having a lot of success, um, you know, helping those guys. They'll help me. And um, I just think it, it, it'll be a good fit for for the, D, the decor and uh, just for our team in general. Our next question is from Matt DeFranks. Matt? Hi, Ryan. What has this uh, last few weeks been like for you uh, going from getting bought out to, to searching for a new place? Yeah, it's, uh, it's been an emotional roller coaster for sure. Um, you know, when, when everything first happened, you really don't, uh, you're in shock. I, I uh, received the call and didn't know. I didn't have. I didn't know what to say. I was uh, in shock. I couldn't believe it was happening. Um, I, I know that I've I've played solid, and I know that I have a lot more to give. And uh, so you go through that phase, and then as you go further along, you're um, you're just thinking about, you know, this is a, a great opportunity for me. I get to go pick a team that has a chance to to win a Stanley Cup and. Um, you know, I was telling Neil, uh, I feel like I'm 27 again with all these teams calling and, uh, GMs from other teams, just, you know, really trying to, to get us to come there to their team. And, um, it, uh, so you go from a, a low to, uh, the ultimate high as a player, as a professional athlete, you, you want to be wanted. And it was, uh, it was very eye opening to, to see, you know, all the options that we had. Next, we'll go to Dane Mizutani. Dane? Hey, Ryan. Uh, we're going to miss you in Minnesota. But, um, Thanks, Dane. Just, how, how blindsided were you by, the, by the, the news of the buyout or by the call? And then how long did it take to move, move on? And you said, you know, low to an ultimate high. How long did that process take um, in terms of days? Yeah, I mean, I, I hadn't uh, – no, I hadn't talked to anybody. had no idea. Uh, what was going on I got a call at 10 o'clock and they told me the news and I was in shock didn't know what to say and uh, you know so you're 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 feeling pretty pretty low but uh, later that day we were getting calls already and um, it uh, you know the hardest part was was my family I, I for me I, I can deal with it and it's the family that uh, I was I was sad for they're leaving all their friends and um, just we made so many good relationships in Minnesota. Um, so that, that was the hardest part for me, but, um, you know, we're excited for the, the next chapter. Uh, the kids are pumped. Um, they're already helping us with schools and find houses and, uh, they're, they're all in and uh, we're really looking forward to, to being 
in Dallas and, you know, having a chance to, to win the Stanley Cup. Next, we'll go to Sarah McClellan. Sarah? Hi, Ryan. Yeah, thank, thanks again for all the help over the years in Minnesota. Um, how do you reflect on that time now in your career when you look back? What will that, that segment of your career come to mean to you? Yeah, it means the world. Um, obviously, my three, three, uh, three youngest kids were, were born in Minnesota. Uh, my wife's from Minnesota. I was close to Wisconsin. Um, it was uh, everything that, that we wanted. That's why we signed there as a free agent. And um, it, was, it was a great time. And, uh, you know, everything happens for a reason, though. And we're really excited about this opportunity because guys, when they turn 36, really don't get this opportunity. And uh, we have it. And we're going to make the most of it for sure. Our next question is from Owen Newkirk. Owen? Hey, Ryan. Um, I know you missed him by a year at the University of Wisconsin, but how well do you know fellow Wisconsin native Joe Pavelski? And did talking with Joe at all, I'm, I'm sort of presuming here, but did that help with questions about how does it moving a family there, quality of life, schools, the stuff around just playing hockey? Yeah, I, I know Joe very well. Um, uh, he's actually, we're having a charity game tonight for my dad to raise money, um, for, for local youth hockey players here in Madison. He's going to play in the game. I, I see Joe every day. Uh, his kid plays, uh, with my son, Brooks, uh, Nate, his son, Nate plays with Brooks here at the rink. Um, yeah, we're, we're very close with them. Um, I definitely talked to him and, uh, he had nothing but great things to say. And, um, when, when a guy like like him is telling you that all the guys on the team are talking to him saying, Hey, you gotta, gotta get him to sign here. That, that makes you feel great. Um, uh, makes you feel welcome. And, uh, and Joe just said that the group of guys that are there are, are you know, awesome, great guys and, um, they want to win. And so, yeah, it was, it was a big part of the decision. Uh, Joe, uh, Joe, Joe and I grew up playing against each other and, um, now we, we get to go try to win together. Next, we'll go back to Mike Heike. Mike? Uh, how do you see the lefty-righty thing? Is that important to you? And, you know, uh, do you look at the righties who are on the stars like Klingberg? Yeah, so um, when I talked to Jim Nell, he basically said, uh, you know, Klingberg's obviously the right shot. Heiskanen can play the right side if we need him to. And uh, we're planning on keeping you on the left side. And um, so, I mean, I'm not, uh, I'm not too worried about it. I know they got great coaching staff and uh, um, I'll play wherever they need me to play so that we, we have the best chance to win. Our next question is from Matt to Franks. Matt. Ryan, why'd you want to go uh, to four years and how important was the term in addition to the no move clause and landing in Dallas? Yeah, I, I thought that was important for us. Um, you know, I have four kids. Um, I, I want to go somewhere. I want to go somewhere that has a chance to win. And I want to be a part of that for as long as I can be. And um, yeah, four, four years, if, if I'm going to move my family somewhere, I had to have that commitment and they had absolutely no problem with that commitment. And, uh, it was, uh, it was exciting because it was, it was kind of the perfect thing. Um, you know, they, they didn't, uh, flinch one bit when I said four years and, um, they, uh, yeah, they were excited about it. And obviously, um, we were excited about it. Next, we'll go back to Dane. Dane, go ahead. Brian, I know you'll play the wild quite a bit, um, just being in the same division. Like, does November 18th, that's the first time you guys play, will that game hold any more weight, or is it just any other game on the schedule? I think it's just any other game. Obviously, uh, you, you try to go into every game preparing uh, to win, and um, it'll be fun to be back in Minnesota because uh, we have a ton of friends there. Um, so it'll be, it'll be fun in that regard, get to hang out with those guys and, and have them be a part of it. But it's, it's another game. I, I, you know, I, uh, 
the guys on the team, I love those guys. Um, you know, they've all reached out and are excited for me. And, uh, you know, we, we had a really good uh, group of guys and um, the game I think will be, will be fun, but um, it'll be fun because all of our friends will be there and uh, I'm sure my family will come up for it. Next, we'll go back to Saad Yusuf. Saad? Hey, Ryan, uh, talking about those four years, how confident are you and, and why are you confident that, you know, late in your 30s, you'll still be uh, a player that's, you know, um, you know, just w w able to play effectively at that point? Well, I think I can play it on 45 if I want. Um, I just think that the way I play, um, that's what I was telling Neil. I said, Neil, if I was if I was 27, if my birth certificate said I was 27, the way I've played, um, my play hasn't gone down over the last, you know, 10 years. I think it's actually gotten better. Um, I feel stronger, more experienced. Um, so I was telling Neil, if I was 27, I could be, you know, uh, we'll talk, talk about that another time, but he, uh, it was, it was a good conversation I had with all the teams and uh, a lot of them, um, felt the same way I did like uh, you can play as long as you want the way you play um, you really don't get hit that often um, you think the game you make good hard passes you're in shape you take care of your body so just kind of all those things um, give me a lot of confidence that I can play after this contract if I want to the next question is from Brian Ray Brian Ryan, you've mentioned a little bit your ties to Wisconsin and Minnesota. You're coming to the complete opposite end of the country now with you and your family outside of playing in the building yep. in the in the visiting hotel. What do you know about the city and the area uh, of Dallas? Well, I know a lot from talking to uh, the different guys. Um, you know, people like uh, like Joe Pavelski. He's told me nothing but great things about the youth hockey program and how how strong it is. And you really wouldn't think it would be being in Dallas, Texas, but he said the stars have done such a great job of, you know, building the ranks and, and the foundation for the youth hockey years ago. And, um, and it's solid now. I mean, with our team here, the capitals and the USHL, we've drafted guys out of Dallas. Um, I, I know that Brooks, my son plays against a lot of kids from, from the Dallas area. So, Hockey's big down there, so that was a big thing for our, our uh, family because my son and my daughter both play hockey. Um, yeah, it's we just know it's a, a beautiful city. Um, every time we're down there, the people there are so friendly. Um, and just, yeah, just a, a clean and, and a nice place to live. And uh, we're really looking forward to this, uh, this different uh, Christmas. It's going to be It'll be a lot different for us. No snow, no outdoor rink, but uh, we're excited for it and we're looking forward to, to experiencing it. All right, we'll take a few more here for Ryan, starting with Owen Newkirk. Owen? How much do you take coaching staff into account when you're making your decision? And do you know any of the coaches at all for Dallas and, and does that affect your decision to come here? Yeah, so I talked to Rick yesterday, um, you know, very excited to, to be on his team. Um, he played with Neil, my agent. Um, I talked to Sean Hill. There's, there's just a bunch of guys that have reached out to me saying how great of a, a guy uh, Rick Bonus is. And I'm really looking forward to that. I guess he, uh, you know, he expects you to show up and work your, your butt off when you're there. And, uh, but he also treats you the right way. And I think that's important. Um, you need those those coaches that have the experience that can that know how to manage, you know, the different players. So, yeah, that that was definitely a part of it. And I think uh, Jim did a really good job. Jim Neal did a really good job of, you know, kind of explaining that to us, who the coaches were and uh, their backgrounds and uh, his expectations for us. Next, we will go to Matt DeFranks. Matt? Ryan, you mentioned you grew up playing against Joe Pavelski. Uh, how long ago was that? What leagues, what teams? Uh, and then additionally, are you wearing number 20 in Dallas? Uh, I grew up playing against Joe 
when, so we're both, he's an 84 birthday, I'm an 85. Um, he grew up in Plover, Wisconsin. I grew up in Madison. Our teams, when we were probably eight, nine, 10 years old, we would always, you know, go up there, play against him. Uh, he was with Stevens Point. I was with the Patriots here in Madison, and uh, then he played a. He actually played on our team a couple summers for the Capitals. Uh, we would go up to Minnesota for different tournaments. Um, yeah, so just kind of was always always playing against him in state tournaments and different things like that. Um, and then what was the second part of your question? Sorry. Do you plan to wear a twenty in Dallas? Oh yeah, I'm. I'm hoping so. Hopefully they they haven't given it away yet. And our last question is from Saad Youssef. Saad? Hey, Ryan, uh, I know you said you feel 27, but, you know, when you look at your career so far, you've had big contracts, you've, you've made a lot of money and stuff, but uh, yep. at 36 now, does uh, does that void of a championship, does the does the desire burn any, any I guess, brighter at this point in your career? Yeah, so, I mean, that, I'm glad you asked that because that was a big thing. Um, you know, when I was 27, I – you know, you're young and you think you're going to get so many chances to win and all that different stuff. And so I went to Minnesota thinking, OK, let's go here. We can build a team that we can go and compete to win. And uh, obviously it didn't happen. So now I felt there was so much pressure on this decision for me personally, because I wanted to make sure that I picked the right situations to give us to give me the best chance of, of winning the Stanley cup, because like you said, it's uh, I've been very fortunate um, with the contracts I've signed and the different places I've been, the different experiences and uh, to win a Stanley cup would, would, would mean the world to me. And, and that's, uh, that's what I'm, I'm going to Dallas to do. All right, Ryan, thanks so much for taking the time today. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you guys. I look forward to meeting y'all in person. Sounds good. See you when you get down here.